Hello? Is it me? It's you. Oh my God. Kendra, I knew I was getting on here today. I love you. Uh -huh, I love you. I, I said, love you. once I get on here, I'm going to make sure that I tell her she is loved. Thank you, Kendra, for all you do. I'm <laughs> Brandy. I see. Thank you, Yay! Brandy. Brandy. Yes. <laughs> I'm excited. Can you tell? Yes. I love it, though. I got my iPad over here, and then I saw my face, and I'm like, it's me. Okay, let me calm it down. Go ahead. You want to start off with the Kendra Kim? It seems like you already ready oh, yeah. to Kendra Kim. I was getting ready to walk outside, and I said, okay, let me wait. It might be my turn. So yeah, let's go ahead and get that out the way. Yes, I used to be 253 pounds and I've lost weight since 2020. I am now 175-ish. So I lost about 90 pounds. So How'd yeah. you do it? Honey, um, that, um, that whole thing about fasting, yes, it does work. And I've been primping, child, you can tell. <laughs> Let me shut up. Let me hold it together. I love, I listen, I truly love you. Aww. Like you have helped me through this summer. Okay, let me just say one thing before you ask me the question. I had a four year relationship that ended in June, June 3rd to be exact. I have been watching your show ever since. And I, along with some others, but you primarily, because you have such good, like the way you be coming for people, it's so entertaining and so enlightening at the same time. And I'm all about that. So gratitude, <laughs> gratitude, much love. Okay, I, let me hush. <laughs> I received that. Um, listen, I don't take your time lightly. I appreciate your support. And I'm, I'm, I'm equally as excited talking to you as you are talking to me. You are a goddess. I have to say that. And now I'm a really hush. You're a goddess. For real. Thank, thank you, Brandy. Divine. All right. Well, mm. Let me get in your business, Brandy. Where you calling me yes. from, honey? I am in St. Paul, Minnesota. I am from Raleigh, North Carolina. St. Paul, here Minnesota? in July. Mm -hmm. Okay, where do you live right now? In St. Paul, St. Paul, Minnesota. Okay. Yeah. But you're from Raleigh, North Carolina. Yes. Okay. I drove here in July. Uh -huh. you just, 25 you just hours. Moved there? I just moved here. Okay. Long story, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. How old are you, Brandy? 44 years old. 44? No children. No yeah, children. No kids. Yes. No and kids. happy about it. Uh huh. Happy about it. <laughs> you never wanted, did, you, did you never want kids? I did want children. Now I've been married and divorced twice. Yeah, I had to put that out there. I don't think I ever heard anyone say that they've been married. I know you probably have encountered them, but I've never heard anyone say they've been married and divorced twice. But I'll admit that you know I learned and I don't have any regrets. Uh uh. No yeah, I've had I, I've had a few people married twice on the show. I've had some people married. I had one maid lady who was married four times. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I wanted children. That was the answer to your question. I wanted children. And I was under the mind state that I wanted to be married if I had children. So that was primarily my focus on getting married the second time. But it didn't happen. He he wanted me to wait until I finished my degree. And when I finished my degree, we were done. So, you know, hey, you know, life. <laughs> <laughs> still I, happy <laughs> i love that you're happy brandy what do you do for a living honey i am a financial logistics analyst so i do finance as well as i work in logistics yeah crunching logistics. numbers yeah and dealing with fedex and ups and all those good guys okay so this is brandy st paul minnesota 44 no kids when's your birthday or zodiac sign january 3rd i am a capricorn and i am a true capricorn uh -huh. capricorn I don't mm -hmm. think your nipple is showing. No, right? That's just the way that. No, oh no, your nipple's down here. Okay, the way like that part right there. For oh, you can't see what I'm pointing at. Well, I guess no. But they being, your bra I mean, they do. You know how they are. You got them too. You got them too. <laughs> Girl, do I? Look, they I make, they making me, up nipples. They're making. I would, up nipples. I would give people think I had a boob job. I've never had. A, I never had any body work. First of all, I've never had breasts. Me again. either. I would give these breasts away. I just gained fifteen pounds since COVID. And it just went there. I feel you like, look like you lost from, weight. Wait a minute, you look I'm like losing. You lost I'm starting to come down from, but overall, I had a big, I gained like 20 pounds during COVID. But now that I'm running again, it's starting to come off. But my breast changed drastically. So people think I had a breast job because if you look at two years ago versus these breasts, they I understand it. I just kind of let it go there. at this moment. I'm like, you know what? It is what it is. I, I can't keep talking. You a baddie, honey. 
Thank Don't you. Don't let Jerry. nobody say otherwise. Brittany, I'm going to have to have you as my hype woman, child. I'm going to have to bring em. you everywhere with me. Give a shit. I just, I'm so glad to be on here. I was talking to God. Like, I know I'm going to get on there. And I'm going to make sure she knows she is loved. For realsies, let me hush. Oh, God, I'm going to love to watch this back. Oh, this is funny <laughs> as fuck. Okay, I'm <laughs> All right, let me finish with you, Brittany. So we can leave it there as a list of questions. So we got Brittany, St. Paul, Minnesota, 44 No Kids, a financial logistic analyst. You're a Capricorn? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now we're ready. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, Someone who is uh, self-aware. Someone who is knowing that they are one with all that exists. Someone who is fearless. Um, I'm not about materialistic things, even though I like my bling bling and stuff. I've always been independent. So a man that is aware of himself and his masculine and feminine aspects, meaning he's balanced, meaning he don't need a hype man. He don't need his woman to do blah, 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 to make him feel like the man that he is. Somebody who's self-aware and confident. That's it, pretty much. Okay. What's some deal breakers for you? <clears throat> I just got to say it like this because this is the way it's coming to me. A punk ass type of person, a bitch ass type of person like, nah, because I'm very confident within myself. And that's the kind of person that would be able to handle me because this is not fluff. This is true knowingness of who I am. And I like to spread that. I like to spread it. That's why I know I got one here. Uh -huh, it's a spiritual thing for me. So I want someone who is tuned in, tapped in, turned on by his damn self. He don't need nobody. Because that's who I am. And I don't need a needy dude. So I, and I'm also, yeah, I'll put this out there. I'm I'm open. So I'm I don't like to say bye. Bye bye. I'm not bye. I am free spirited and open. So, you know, ladies and men, I like them both. Have you ever dated a woman? I have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Age 37 is when that popped off. It's a story behind that, but yeah, I'll leave that alone. <laughs> I'm an open damn book. No shame. Okay. Uh, all right. So this is Brandy. Okay. So women or men, do they have to look a certain way? I have to be attracted to them. And I'm not um, the kind of person that has to have a certain look but it does require the person be confident because that exudes and that is something that you can see without it being pers you know actually like certain uh like a lot of people say their lips or or um their eyes it's it's to me it's a confidence in their aura so uh yeah they just need to be confident and, uh, and aware of who they are and be okay with who they are like and that's going to exude and they're going to look good to me or not nah, you know yeah okay. And now does he have to make a certain amount of money? Um, long as he can take care of himself, because I am independent and I'm not about taking care of a man. You know, I've done that. Uh huh. And I'm no longer doing it. Uh huh. Have you ever <laughs> taken care of a man before? Mm -hmm. How did it work? Um, you know what? This is something I I, I sense a lot of uh, certain women that are um, you know, confident and may come across as a little bit masculine because i know i have that kind of masculine-esque energy with me because it is it's something i've become okay with but um the men that i have and i can say my uh the the partner i'll say that i did take care of i did that i wasn't like you know you know abused it was something that i was a partaker in you know i was handicapping his ass he was younger than me um he was also getting you know giving me certain things you know not necessarily sex because that wasn't the main part of it but i was literally finding myself buying stuff for this dude and i'm like what the hell am i looking for validation you know i was co i was codependent as they say he was narcissist you know i'm over here like begging him for validation that was all me you know, and I see all of these experiences that I have had, they all added to me. So nobody depleted me. Nobody took nothing from me. I gave the shit. So, um, yeah, I got used. You know, I let myself get used. You know, we all sometimes play the fool. Okay. I learned. You know, so, I learned. So I'm still trying to learn these super stickers, but Joshua, I think that's the name, or Joshua said, tell us the story. So do you want to tell the story how Ooh. you started dating a woman? 
I was 37. Yes, I will. I love telling, you know, I'm an open book. Okay. Who got him to be very short because I know the Wi Fi. But I knew we were going to have good connection once I got on here. Uh huh. I'm an intuitive, uh, by the way. We all have an intuitive nature, but I have uh, an ability, an intuitive uh, nature where I can give readings and such. But, well, at age 37, I was um, newly out of my second divorce. I was um, modeling. I was plus size and pluser because I'm still plus but I was pluser then and I had on a corset and I was leaving from a fashion show uh-huh I had on a red corset and I saw I'm gonna really speed this up I saw my boyfriend from high school from ninth grade literally at a gas station I'm in a corset getting gas at the gas station leaving the fashion show looking hot to damn trot do stop me and I'm like I know you from high school. Long story short, he had a girl in the car. I'm like, why is he hollering at me? He got a girl in the car. Well, come to find out, they were just friends, and they invited me back. So, yeah, I'm putting it out there. We we had, you know, I, I'm so skipping three, a lot. Okay, so all three of you guys got together that yes, night. Yes, and that was my first time having that type of interaction, meaning... Mm, when I tell you I had my first orgasm, uh-huh, I sure did at age 37. Had been married first... and divorced twice. Had you... never had a true orgasm. This is going to be on the highlights. Yes, it is. <laughs> I already know it is because I wanted to be able to tell this story. I didn't know what I was doing before with two other husbands. and had to get with a girl to actually have an orgasm. And it was the best. Mm -hmm. Was that good, Joshua? I can't see the comments. But <laughs> <laughs> hit me up if you want to hear more because I love telling my life story. Yes, open book. <laughs> Ain't no shame in my damn game. So okay. that was your first orgasm with a female, two men connected? It was a girl on a girl. Y'all. If you ain't never tried it, don't, 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 don't talk about it unless you tried it now. I'm going to leave that alone because somebody going to get mad at that. You trying to force people to be gay? No. It really ain't about being gay, yo. It's about them knowing how your vagina work. And at 37, yo, still had not known how to make my shit. But I, I learned after that. But yeah. Joshua, uh, thank you for... Um, that was the one time I was out hot to try and i didn't damn care no i didn't i'm being honest go ahead i'm, I'm clean i ain't got nothing from it but i damn sure took a damn chance <laughs> i don't give a damn what nobody got to say uh-huh <laughs> let me hush go ahead what's the next one kendra oh, oh my god Brandy, you oh, are... i love this shit. oh i knew this was gonna happen let me shut oh i can't wait to watch this okay so brandy um does you say you gotta be i think we're on when was your last relationship okay my last relationship ended in june and it was a four-year relationship my ex was also free-spirited uh-huh and we had an open relationship uh-huh never invited anybody in that but uh we hadn't had any any minglings or any that stuff since like damn november so i haven't had nothing from somebody else you know i know how to handle myself but i have not ugh, nothing since november damn 2021 okay so are you ready i to know go i look crazy <laughs> are you ready to go back to that type of pleasure or do you, do you, do you have a I'm preference of a woman or a woman do you have a pleasure do you, do you have a, oh, do i prefer okay yeah. you're saying do i prefer actually i prefer men Okay. You know, if it's a true preference, I really prefer men because that was more of an erotic situation that kind of happened into, had no previous thought pattern to be like, I want this. Like, it just kind of happened. And I want to add this. We were drinking Fireball, and that just so happens to be my dad's nickname. So I was like, damn, I was drinking Fireball, and I had never had Fireball. That's what allowed me to be like, I'm letting down my inhibitions, and I did the damn thing. <clears throat> no regret. No regrets. All right. Anybody that's done it knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> so listen, we got we got a couple more questions, but I do want to yes, say this. Ocean said, "I love her so much. Beautiful, honest, confident in herself. That is beauty. That's what Ocean wanted me to tell you. Gratitude. <laughs> that's why I wanted to be up here because you are beautiful, Kendra, and I just wanted to show you. You have made an impression on me. I have went through a sadness during the summertime, and you helped me through it. I just wanted to tell you, I love you." 
You don't know what you're doing. You don't know who you touching, honey. You touch me and help me. Glory uh -huh. be to God. I, I, mm -hmm. I think that seriously. I'm just have been happy utilized. to be a vessel. Thank you so much, Thank Brandy. You. All right, Brandy. Okay, so Uja, when was the last time you was intimate with someone? Now, I usually say you don't have to answer, but I want you to answer, Brandy. I was intimate with myself the other night. But as it relates to others, since November of 2021, oh. and I mean that thing. So you ready? Um, I can't but see again. I'm not like I'm good. Like I handles me, but I would love to interact with someone, and you know, someone that's intellectual, someone that is on the spiritual, you know, path of awareness of knowing God and source energy, like knowing who they are. Like I want that. I'm hungry for that. Okay. I'm actually horny for that. The intellectual conversation. Yes. Yeah, okay. What I'm about. So, Brittany, do you desire a relationship or do you want like a polyamorous? Like, what is your, what, what, what do you desire? I'm very open. Okay. But if I had a preference, it would be a one on one. Okay. And the man would have no kids. That's my preference. So, you want a man with no kids? Okay. Now, I didn't ask you your age. What's your age range? For, okay. The age range, I'm okay with, I would say, 37 to on up. I ain't going to give it no cap. Okay. And but and you prefer a guy at that age with no kids? Yes, that's okay. my preference. That's her. Preference. I don't have kids. I have little pets. I have three cats and a dog. Yes, okay, I know it's a lot, but I was you know kind of giving that with my partner. Got gotcha. you. Get addled, mm -hmm. but I, I'm handling things. Uh -huh. Okay, so you know how we do. Yes. Hold it down. We hold Why it do down. you think you're single? Because I chose my experience. Meaning, I am. You know, I see life as we have a major part to play in everything that happens to us, meaning I'm not a victim. So I have a part to play in it because if I wasn't single right now, wouldn't I have this opportunity to be on here with you? So I see everything adds to the next. So I am exactly where I am intended to be and I'm okay with being single, but it really is because I, I am picky and I don't, I don't just fuck with anybody. I don't even know I fucked that girl that night. You know what I'm saying? I don't do that regularly. I was fresh out of a relationship, okay? <laughs> I had to have that. That was like, okay, I'm going to see what it's about. But I'm not that way. Like, that was 37. I'm 44 now. I'm very picky as it relates to who I'm going to spend my energy with. <laughs> yes. I'm a loner. I sit at home and chill. Okay. Mm -hmm, with my babies. Really? And I'm good with that, reading books and shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Oh, I'm one in a million. And I know who the fuck I am. Uh-huh. Ain't never heard that. Nobody up here that I've heard, ain't nobody said, I know who the fuck I am. That's because I do. And I like to spread it and tell others, like, don't you remember who the hell you are? You better walk it out. Because I am that I am. So they would be, they would be blissed. Not blessed. They would be blissed to be in my damn presence. Just like anybody that be around you. I'm just feeling it, honey. Just, oh, uh, I know who I am. I said I was going to get up here and I got up here. Now I'm going to get on some highlights. Uh huh. <laughs> but yeah, because I am the shit, pretty much. And it's real confident. It ain't like cocky is real knowingness of who I am. Source connected me to you and everybody else who's going to see me. I'm just thankful that I am who I am. So they're going to be bliss to be in my presence because they even get to chat back if I even hit them back. Because I ain't going to hit most people back. I'm just going to let you know. But Come on, Brandy. I follow internal guidance. You feel me? <laughs> Come on, Brandy. I love you. I love. Let me tell you something. This is real talk. I, I, I try to play as humble as possible when I sit in this chair because I think that's important. But that's exactly how I feel. You said it. And I, and I have, and my coworkers get mad at me because Ooh, I say all the time to them. Like, we literally, like, had, like, this is real talk. I had an ex reach out to me from like six years ago, and then they were telling me, oh, you should talk to him more. Oh, did we get frozen? No. I hope we didn't get frozen because I really want to tell the story. All right, we're you back. You were frozen, but I, but but I, I wanted frozen. to tell you the shit. You the shit. Uh-huh. That's Okay, yeah. so I was just going to say this real, real quick. So I literally had an ex reach out, and my coworker was like, oh, you should talk to him because we should get the backstory. I said, absolutely not. It's a gift to talk to me. Like, yes. and he lost that privilege of talking to me. So when you were speaking, I loved it because I rock with that. Mm -hmm. I really do. Yes, I'm your reflection, I, honey. I felt it. Let me get my go. own IG. 
Okay, so let's do it, Brittany. We gotta go. How do you want them to reach out to you? I see it's cut off, but my um Instagram or Facebook, Brandy Crenshaw on Facebook, but IG is my preference. It is God underscore is, and that's I-S underscore B E underscore my I'm gonna look it up on um, okay. Instagram while we're here. And I got nervous because we did, we were doing so good with the Wi-Fi, but I'm still gonna pray for the I Wi-Fi. Think I did so it. God. So God, God is underscore, what? what's the un- word? God after? underscore is underscore B E. That's that's where Brandy Edward underscore my aunt, which is M A A T. Oh, you know, yes. I see you right here. Yes, my heart is light as a feather. Yes, that's me. Okay, oh, that's her. Five thousand. Somebody, they already started following me. Yes, that's, <laughs> that's her. That's her. Randy uh, Crenshaw. Yeah. Yes. So God um, underscore is underscore B underscore M A A T. Thank you, Kendra. God I bless love you, you, Randy. I love you, honey. Keep doing it. You're doing it for the people, honey. Thank you. Don't bro. let them motherfuckers stop you, honey. I don't think they can. I know they can. But you <laughs> keep going. I love you. <laughs> Gratitude. I appreciate Jeez, it. Thank you, Brandy. You I really enjoyed you. I bye, love sweetheart. you. Oh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I really, look, like I said, I see her as a, trust me, in my real life, I talk a lot of shit, but I back up everything I say. Uh, but what she was saying, like, my coworkers get so mad when I say that. Ask Leanna Kyle. They get mad at me all the time. Oh, that sounds, what do they say? I don't know. I don't talk like that up here, but sometimes y'all get me out of my body and I will speak my shit because I do know who I am. I know what I bring. I know that I'm a worker. Ain't nothing given to me. I earn every everything I have. So that is what allows me to talk my shit because it, it is this ain't no overnight nothing. This is years of work and still working. And I do believe I believe everybody got to have a little bit of Kanye West in them to be it to be successful. I said this before, whether you want a lot or a little, you got to have you got to have a belief in yourself. I do believe in that. It's very important. So I enjoy Brandy. Let me see if we have any guys in queue, though.